What's up guys? It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning here and I'm on my way to catch some crayfish. This is the very first time that I'm doing something like this. The area that I'm from in South Africa, Port Elizabeth, uh, we don't really get to go and catch crayfish the way that I'm going to do it today. So uh, let's hope that I get some crayfish. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy. So, in order for you to legally remove crayfish from the ocean, you need a permit from the post office. And this is what your permit needs to look like. Pringle Bay is a small coastal village in the Overberg region of the Western Cape in South Africa. It is situated at the foot of Hunkliff, on the opposite side of False Bay from Cape Point. The town and surrounds are part of the Koffelberg Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO heritage site. The bay is named after Rear Admiral Thomas Pringle of the Royal Navy who commanded the naval station at the Cape in the late 1790s. No person catching the West Coast Rock Lobster with a recreational fishing permit may sell the catch. Any crayfish or lobster caught, collected or transported must be kept as a whole. Crayfish for private use may only be caught by a baited crayfish ring, a baited line and scoop net or when entering the water from shore by hand using free diving equipment. A permit costs 94 Rand from the South African Post Office. This allows fishing, collecting, keeping, controlling, landing, transporting of or possession of not more than four West Coast rock lobsters per day. Clearly the crayfish and I were not ready to be friends yet, which is why I decided to take my drone and explore some more parts of the bay. The beach is exposed to the wind and frequently empty. The village is regarded as one of the safest in the country, naturally being family friendly and is home to a number of restaurants and curio shops which serve locals, holiday makers and passers by. While I was exploring in the area, I found some baboon droppings very close to the ocean. I want to give a huge shout out to my buddy Evan for teaching me the ropes when it comes to crayfish fishing.
wiser and cool. So how was it? It was very eventful. We had to work hard to get our four crayfish. But just glad that the season is here. This is our basically our recreational sport. And uh, yes, we got our four. And something to take home for the pan, for the pot, for of the bride. Yeah, you know, we yes, have to make it yes. worth your while. So the pot is covered. Is what, is the, um, I mix the following stuff with butter and then I just put in the microwave for uh, about a minute. Okay. And then once that is done, we cut the crayfish open and then while the crayfish is on the fire, we just add that in with a spoon, which I will show you how to do as well. Okay. So and that, the crayfish actually cooks in the, in the butter and stuff okay. that we're using in the garlic right. and so on. So you see all this stuff. So it's uh, just mixed herbs, some spice for fish, black pepper, garlic butter. Uh, some garlic and some butter. That's it.